When you think of the threats that are out there, when you think of the millions and millions of people that are trying to get at your data, if you're not on the edge and investing hundreds of millions of dollars to protect your infrastructures, you're not going to be able to, like, you will get hacked or this is coming. So, you know, there's only, uh, there's only so many people that are on the edge of what's the latest hacks, what are the latest technologies, and they're all hired. And they're all making millions of dollars a year. So you don't have a chance to hire these people. So now you're talking, you've got tier two, tier three people that's protecting the lifeline of your business. And I always like, I mean, at the end of the day, I, you know, you, you take for granted what a lot of these, and I'll, you know, Salesforce or Google or any of those things. But to me, I can't even imagine running an enterprise and not looking at that as a mitigation strategy on how, making sure your data is safe and secure. You know, can you just outsource your security? Have someone plug into the network and just do all your security? And the answer was no. It's not that simple. Security, there's just too many systems that nobody can really understand. It. Your environment can be so complex that there's just, there's not that simple way. That can take about 80% of the hit away from you, but there's no way to avoid this other than to kind of get deep and look at it. Like that's, that's, what, that's what came back. Because I was hoping after hearing that, because like you got Dell SecureWorks, you've got all these outsourced security companies that are saying, I'll plug into your network and I'll protect you. And I, they had these two security experts that were ex-military guys in the U.S. And they just said, no, I won't do it. That'll do 80%. But the 80% is really training. And we were talking about this before, Brian, like training your people so that they do the right thing. Mm -hmm. It's a big thing, like internal stuff. Yeah, social hacking. But, um, You're absolutely right, Ted. I mean, that's the piece. You can spend a million dollars on your firewall and have somebody walk through who's a trusted employee mm -hmm. and do something knowingly or unknowingly uh, on your network. So you can protect everything from, from the inside out, from the outside in, um, but how do you protect those people? So that's a key piece of it as well, is training people. And you have the young people that are coming in, and you've all talked about Scrum and Agile, and it's great to open up the doors for them, but you do have to have that certain level of making sure that you're protected or you're going to be in trouble. Personally, I think you're both right, of course. Uh, uh, you have valid points, uh, which is why I personally always promote a hybrid model, right? Uh, both of them have, have good things and both of them have weaknesses. So you augment them with each other Absolutely. and you end up with something that's, um, that's, that's pretty much as good as it gets.